Hi, Ali from Ali's Inca Fingers here. Today I'm hoping to do you a couple of demonstrations, so this could be the first or it could be the second. What we're going to do today is we're going to do this lovely little butterfly card from the Bags of Borders stamps. Now, this set was really popular on Create and Craft, so I might do a few more demonstrations afterwards with these, but I'm not sure yet, but we shall see. This one is using the butterfly from the set and the butterfly border, and we've done a lovely little bottle top. On the butterfly itself, what we've done is we've used a couple of different embossing powders to give you a nice effect. So we've got to get straight on with it and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, first of all, we're going to start with a circle easel card. So I've got quite a lot of it prepared so I can save a little bit of time. What we're going to do is... I've got one that's stamped and coloured. I will do a little bit of stamping for you. We're going to use the butterfly. Actually, I'll show you the stamps first. This is the set, and as you can see, you're getting quite a lot of stamps. So you're getting the butterfly and the butterfly border, the handbag and the bag border, the tutu and the tutu border, and the shoe and the shoe border. You're getting a quote, and you're getting this lovely little flourish, which is a lovely versatile stamp. So let's get on with that. So we've got the stamp. I'm going to stamp with Memento purely because I think it's a good all-rounder ink and it dries straight away. So you need to stamp just onto a spare bit of card and you also need to stamp a couple of borders. You're using one border as full image and you use another, another one to cut out a little circle for the bottle cap. So to save a bit of time, I've coloured these in, and I've coloured them in using the Jelly Roll pens. I've just chose three colours, and they all combine with the colour of the card I'm doing. So let's get straight on with this. I've used the Shabby Shutters Distress Ink and a little tool to distress around the edges. I can take the top off. There we go. I've got one that's started, just so I can show you. And I'm going to put this bit of card down just so that I can hold so I don't get fingerprints on there. So in a circular motion, going all the way around the edge. And that one is going to be the main image on your card. So I'm also going to go around the edge of the little circle when I can find it. We'll do that when it turns up. I'm going to take the little flourish, which is this one and stamp around the edge with the same ink so you're getting tone on tone. Just stamp all the way around, turning the stamp as you go. So that's the main image. As you can see, I've done another circle and we've used the dusty concord on the scallop circle. I've found my little circle, so I'll just do that while I've got the ink out. Just a little bit on the edge to stop that being too plain. There we go. So, we've got all those pieces cut out and coloured. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a Versa marking pad and we're going to go all over the image. As I said, the ink dries and it's permanent once dry, so it won't smudge. We're going to take the Stardust embossing powder. Now, this embossing powder is a lovely one uh, to have in your kit because it's a translucent base, so it will take on whatever colour ink that you use with it. And obviously, when you're going over the top of an image, you can still see the image through, but it's going to give you a beautiful sparkle. Pour that back and then we're going to heat this up. The beauty of this one is when you heat it, don't waft your gun around, keep it still and you can see it twinkle when it's actually melted. You'll see the image pop out as well. So we're just going to do this. There, it's just about turning. I'm not sure if you can see, but believe me it is. So you can see now, I think, the, color, the card is getting 
clearer as it melts. It's burning my fingers too. Just be careful. But it just start to twinkle. So you can actually see when you've gone all the way around. And while I've got the Stardust powder out, I'll do the border as well. The border is going to be a stopper for the easel card. So that's the main image. I've got my border coloured in. Put on your Versamark and then pour your embossing powder over the top. You will get a similar effect with the kaleidoscope as well, but I don't think it's as sparkly as the Stardust. So again, just heat this up. I'll hold it up a little bit, see if you can see that better. So it's just starting to turn now. There you go, it's getting a little bit brighter as you move along. It is quite a quick card to do. And you can use it with lots of other stamps as well. There we go, just about done. So that's the border done as well. Go back to the first one because that will have cooled. And we're going to take the Versamark and just swipe around the edge. And we're going to take the Frantage powder this time. This one is the aged green embossing enamel. I'm going to pour this around. I've missed a bit there, but you're better off going back to that afterwards rather than doing it now. If you've got too much on, while it's still as a powder, you can rub a little bit off and then start to melt that. This gives it a nice vintage feel. That's just starting to melt now. It's actually got um, a bit of gold in it, so it does look really nice. Go all the way around the edge and it won't affect the powder that you've already melted before. Just burn your fingers though. Back to the beginning and then we'll do the little bit that we missed. Let that cool down a second or two. I'll put a little bit on there. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the border. So again, take the border, swipe with your Versamark. And then pour on the frontage. Oops, don't spill it all over your desk like I just done. Just have a look at it. If you think you've got too much on in parts, just wipe off with a little brush or your finger. And then we'll heat that up as well. I'm not going to hold this one because it does burn your fingers. And then all it is a case of then is assembling. It's just starting to melt now. So go all the way around your image. And I will show you how we put the uh, bottle cap together as well. That does take quite a while to dry, so if you're wanting the card in a hurry, you're probably better off leaving that off. Right, so that's everything done for that. I'll just have a quick wipe so 
so I don't get it onto the back of my card. There we go. So what have we got here then? I've got put a little bulldog clip on the top. I'm sure you've got things like this in your stash. Um, we've got our bottle cup, bottle top flattened with the um, big shot machine or the uh, caliber will do it any of those machines will go do that I've cut a piece of gold card to fit and then we've got our pieces that we did earlier so what I'm going to do is take off the backing some double-sided tape now this circle will be a little bit bigger than this because we've got that bit cut off for the fold so I'll just put that in there and the best way to deal with this is to press it down fold that up fold it back and then you can snip that off so fold that behind and just carefully snip off the excess and then that will be ready to do we we'll take the back end off the green one And this is going to go on the inside. We're going to put foam pads onto the back of the border to make it stand up a little bit. So I use my tweezers, like cope a little bit better with tweezers. So just take off the back in from those. And then this is going to go as a stopper across there. Now, obviously, you've got a bit of excess, so turn that over and then just trim in line with the circle. And there we've got our stopper there. So we're going to take off the back end. Now, this is one that I usually do wrong, but I've done it right today. If you put your tape onto the main card rather than onto the back of your topper you know then that you're going to just have um, it in the right place otherwise it will be on the back of the topper and you don't want that you just want it to go where you need it so that's the topper on there on there we're going to take off the back end on the back of the main image and stick that to the gold And then take off the backing off the gold and stick that at a nice jaunty angle on there. So how do we do the little bottle tap? Right, we're going to get some glossy accents. I'm going to pour a nice amount into there. Take the circle and it's about a three quarter inch punch I've used for this. Fit that in and squash it down and then just squeeze your glossy accents and flood the uh, aperture in there. there we go. And then it's a case of putting it somewhere safe to dry where nobody's going to touch it. And as it dries, you see it's quite opaque on there, it does become a lot clearer. And then we're just going to stick that on with some silicon glue or foam pads if you prefer so just get some silicon on there nice big blob on the back and stick the butterfly on there and you've got your lovely finished card done with the bags of borders